Thanks for stopping in for these little midweek check-ins where they're just little quick tips for both men and women. What we're gonna give you today is three tips on how to use this without being frustrated. Yeah. Hey guys, we hope you had a great day. You are in our PRP room where we do a lot of procedures with platelet-rich plasma for the P-Shot, O-Shot, as well as aesthetics. This is the Dr. Joel Kaplan Male Enhancement Pump. We absolutely love this pump. It's easy to use. It gives a good suction, good results, and it's comfortable. So the first thing that you need to do is to know safely how not to damage your penis. Tip number one lube up the entire penis. You don't want just the base of your penis lubed up, you need the entire penis lubed up for the very reason that you're gonna get a good suction if you lube up the base of the penis, great. But once your penis is erect inside with the negative pressure of this pump, you don't want the penis to be sticking on the sides of the glass. That would be painful to get out of. So you wanna lube up the entire penis, not just the base. And so what you wanna do is you only wanna go up to a pressure of 10 millimeters of mercury, no more than that. So I know that you all are really excited once you get something like the P-Shot, which is um, designed to make your penis larger and longer in terms of width and length, and you're wanting to really pump that penis up to make it bigger, you don't want to go above 10. Do you know why? Because you'll start stretching out the skin. We had one of our patients who stretched out the skin too much, so it took a while for the PRP effect to catch up with the skin and you don't want to look like you have been uncircumcised when you have been circumcised. Look at your pump. This is the Dr. Joel Kaplan penile pump or male enhancement, enhancement pump. On this pump you see numbers, right? So you never want to go above 10 millimeters of mercury. And what I do for our patients is, oh sorry, 10 millimeters of mercury. So what I do for our patients is, let me go grab a marker. Hold on a second. I'll just take a standard magic marker and I will mark down on the pump itself right at the 10. I won't do this since we're going to give this to a patient and I'd like to demonstrate it while I'm with the patient. But right at the 10 millimeter mark, you want to make a little mark here um, just right on the glass so that you know, okay, when you're pumping your penis up, you don't want to go past that point. Keep your balls out of this pump. You don't want your balls to be sucked into this pump. It will hurt. You want to be in like a standing position or sitting position so that initially you are just having your balls hang down. For example, if you want to be on a chair or something, something to let the balls hang down so that just your penis goes in like that. If you start off laying down, there's a good chance your balls will get sucked back in. Um, some of our patients have fallen asleep with this on. You don't want to leave it on for more than three to five minutes at a pressure of not more than minus 10 millimeters of mercury. Now remember at first you will get frustrated. Like you'll think this is like the worst thing. I can't get all these parts together. It's just not working. But look how easily I can pump this. So right now I'm just doing that and my hand is getting a really good suction. So we are gonna go up to not more than what? Not more than minus 10 millimeters of mercury. So it's gonna go to about right there, minus 10 millimeters of mercury. I don't know if you can see that, is that right there? Is that minus 10? Yeah, it's right at a minus 10 millimeters of mercury. You don't wanna go beyond that. Okay, so that's a good suction. And to release your penis after three to five minutes, you just take your hand and just create a little break of that seal and you're good. Three to five minutes, lube up the whole penis, no more than minus 10 liter, millimeters of mercury. Most men find that this is very comfortable to use twice a day. It's almost like a yoga for the penis. That's what Dr. Charles Ronalds had taught us and it is in fact true. This will help your procedures with PRP with the P-Shot in order to get blood vessels to start forming, to get new nerves to start forming so that your PRP procedure can be very, very maximally successful. We hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you again in our next video.